to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so we have another um, example here for um, differential equation with the homogeneous coefficient, so in which we are going to solve the um, the general solution for this one. So we have x y dx minus x squared plus three y squared dy is equal to zero. So first, in the order of um, business for our solution, we need to get or to test if our given equations or our given equation is ho ha having a homogeneous coefficient or not okay so this is n m and this is n okay so our m x y so we have f x of y which is equal to x y so f lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda this is x not lambda okay. x times lambda y so we could have lambda squared x y so we could say that our um, lambda squared f x of y so this is the same so this is homogeneous okay or the other part of our equation n so our n x of y so we we'll need to test if this one is homogeneous or not also this is x squared plus 3 y squared so f lambda x lambda y is equal to um, x squared so that will be lambda x squared plus 3 lambda y squared so we'll end up with lambda squared x squared plus 3 lambda squared y squared so we'll have lambda squared x squared plus 3 y squared so we'll end up with lambda squared f x y so this is also homogeneous okay so we have um, proven that this equation is homogeneous so Again, we, will, we need to determine which of the variables that we are going to replace. For, for this given, the much simpler coefficient is in the m coefficient. So the derivative of that is in terms of x. So therefore, the uh, variable that we are going to replace is x. So x is equal to v, y. So dx is equal to v, dy plus y, dv. Of course, you could use whatever, whatever coefficient um, or whatever variable you like in the place for v or we could use f g uh, q it's up to you then we substitute this one to the equations we have x so our x is v times y so v v times y then times y so this will be v dy plus y dv minus so we have uh, vy squared plus 3y squared dy is equals to 0. So we we'll end up with vy squared v dy plus y dv minus v squared y squared plus 3y squared dy is equals to 0. So factor out y squared, y squared v, v dy plus y dv minus y squared, v squared plus 3. Okay, so dy is equals to 0. Multiply both sides by 1 over 
uh, 1 over y squared. So we use now the brace here because we've already used the bracket. So cancel, cancel. So we end up with v, v dy plus y dv. Okay. Minus um, minus y squared. No, no more y squared. So minus v squared plus 3 dy is equals to 0. Okay, so we will end up with this one is um, v squared dy plus y v dv minus v squared plus 3 dy is equal to 0. So combine terms that has um, d, uh, dy on it so we have v squared minus v squared minus 3 dy plus plus y v dv is equal to 0 okay so just copy this uh, so this is cancelled out so we'll end up with negative 3 okay so just copy this one here so just copy this one okay so we have a new slide uh, a new screen for this one so let's just erase everything in here okay oops we have erase more than we need to okay so we have this one so this is zero this is dy this is three this is v squared so we end up with negative three dy plus y v dv is equals to zero so multiply um, both sides by y one over y so we will have negative three dy over y plus v dv is equal to zero integrate each part of the equation each term of the equation we end up with negative 3 ln y plus v squared over 2 is equal to is equal to um, ln c okay ln c then we also multiply both sides by 2 okay so we have a negative 6 ln y plus v squared is equals to 2 ln c or we could have that one as negative 6 ln y negative 6 ln y plus v squared is equals to ln c squared okay so we, we substitute back the value of x so we say that x is equals to v y so our v is equals to x over y okay so we could now say so this one so we have negative 6 ln y plus x over y squared the x over y squared is equal to ln c squared so we could also say that c squared is just c we could eliminate our c squared here then we we'll rewrite, we transpose this one to the other side of the equation. So we will have x squared y squared is equal to ln c plus 6 ln uh, y. Okay. Then this one, so we will just uh, combine this one also. So we could combine this one or 
um, we could put 6 here because 6 ln c is just equals to ln c so we could have x squared y squared is equals to 6 ln c plus 6 ln y so it is the same so we could have our equation as 6 ln um, I believe it is y times um, c okay so this is positive negative okay so this is y times okay so maybe we could have this one it's just review why it is positive okay so this is y times c so this is x squared over y squared and multiply both sides by one uh, by y squared so we'll end up with x squared is equal to 6y squared ln y or ln c y okay and that is now our answer okay so thank you for watching this video and as always enjoy learning